Fort Worth West Side, on a related note, script is 40 milligrams of Crestor. Too much, you really start getting into a lot of the other side effects that are not good with these high levels. I have maybe one or two people on a dose higher than five per day. And I've got some people on two and a half milligrams once a week. Suvastatin's got a 17 hour half-life and it stays in the body for a while. You don't have to take it every day. If I'm not your doctor, talk with your doctor about how you manipulate dosages. You don't need those high doses to calm down and prevent cardiovascular inflammation. You need and use those high doses if your target is to decrease LDL. And that's only rarely my target. I have tons and tons of people who have genetic problems with their LDL. It's called familial hypercholesterolemia. Even the vast majority of those, you'll hear a term heterozygous versus homozygous. In the world of FH, that's not entirely accurate, but it's good enough for proper communications and proper diagnosis and treatment. Heterozygous FH patient just doesn't have huge increase in risk. These people don't die in their 20s and 30s for cholesterol. They start having heart attacks and strokes in their 50s, 60s when their other risk factors really start cranking up. And we remember what other risk factor starts to crank up in our 50s and 60s. Yes, it's prediabetes. LDL was 137 last test. If so, how do you know what to start with? I usually start with five milligrams of resuvastatin a day and we adjust from there. And we don't tend to go entirely by LDL level. I mean, that's the whole point of this discussion to try to get people to wrap their head around. Maybe there's something else going on besides what your doctor's been talking about. My MPO is 272 and plaque 2 is 157. Maybe 10 milligrams would be fine to start with. Again, thanks for the question. It was great. Fort Worth, West Side. I usually start with five. Winning is exciting, but you know what? What you're winning matters even more. How about the chance to win another couple of decades of life, healthy life, understanding the cause of heart attack, stroke, dementia, the major killers and disablers, and how to prevent those. You can win these courses to do just that. How do you do that? Click the link below, watch the video, answer the questions, and the more you answer right, the better your chances of winning. Give it a try. Win things like free courses that can save your life.